Hello, it's Ben with the DIY Homefront, and I think I've got the ending before the beginning because what's hanging up behind me is the deck to my 1025R John Deere tractor, and that's where I ended up at. So let's get into this and see how it started. So I've had my tractor for about two years. So this has been out in the elements for about two years. And I had never intended to do that. Well, let's see if we can't find some place to store this. At one point, I was going to build a whole new building for my tractor and the implements. But this became my solution. I didn't want yet another building in the backyard. So I built a lean-to onto my shed. I poured some concrete and then I built it out. You can see the lower concrete is on a slope, so rainwater will run off if it gets any on it. And it's about four feet of roof on top. And then I've got these shelves, which are two feet deep. And all the wood other than the plywood, I actually cut down with a chainsaw and a skill saw myself. That gave me a great sense of accomplishment. And you can see these shelves hold quite a bit. This past year is a Christmas present to myself. I bought some aftermarket products that allow you to pick up the deck with the front forks of the tractor. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang the deck from chains right here. So let's put some chains up there and then we'll get the tractor and pick it up. I'm using a zinc plated grade 30 quarter inch chain that is rated for 6,750 pounds, which should be plenty to hold up this 54 inch John Deere 1025R mower deck. The deck is 54 inches wide and those rafters are 56. So that would be the perfect place to put them. I'll cut this chain with the grinder once I got the deck up there. If anybody's thinking about getting a tractor for use around your house or the homestead, these John Deere tractors are really easy to change out the tools that go on the front end loader. I got these yellow adapters that bolt onto the mower deck that allow you to pick it up with the front end loader and I sure am glad I did. It really makes moving this mower deck around a lot easier. I have yet to really sharpen the blades but I also imagine it would make it really easy to hold the deck in such a way that you have easy access to the underside to sharpen the mower blades. I have been thinking about hanging this mower deck for quite a while, but this is the first time I've actually tried to put it into practice. And I'm going to have to pay special attention to that mower bracket to make sure that it's up and out of the way. To save spending an hour to go to town and get something, I scoured all of my spare little parts and all I could find was these two hooks that to be honest, they're probably more for like holding a water bottle onto a backpack. And I tried to use them and they bent. That works for me. I've got a Porter Cable battery operated grinder that makes quick work of cutting the uh, chain. And if you'll notice, I've even got safety glasses on my forehead. I don't think I've got a four inch disc anymore and I forgot to put on my safety glasses. It's not perfect and those are not gonna work. I'm gonna have to get something better than that. Both of these are shot. And that's because I had it, I was pulling down with it with the force of the tractor. 
before I uh, let it loose of these. So when I put this up, these were the best that I had and you can see they did not work. So I got some stainless steel one quarter inch locking chain connectors that are rated for 800 pounds. And they should be plenty strong enough to hold up this mower deck. It'll be a little bit more inconvenient because I'll have to move that when I want to put the bucket on there. But like I said, most of the time when I'm using my tractor and it's just staying in the barn, it's got the forklifts on it. Because I would say 9 out of 10 times I use it is to move something with the forklifts. Well, I am happy with that. I've been meaning to do that for a long time. So I guess this conclude this very short and brief video. Like, subscribe, check out the playlist, and I'll see you in that next video.